and welcome to the Beauty is Found Within podcast, hosted by the beautiful Pippa Leslie. Pippa will be speaking about hers, other spiritual stories, perspectives, and journeys, so we can in turn find the right match of resonance that speaks to our heart and souls. Each week, she will be sharing topics around spirituality, manifestation, mindset, self-love, and personal growth, as well as personal interviews with our fellow soul family and friends. Hey guys, welcome back to the Beauty is Found Within podcast. Oh, it feels so good to be recording this episode. The last few weeks, I have been taking some real amazing time out because I have felt the need to. And, you know, taking a break from something that you love, it is it is quite hard because you feel like you're not showing up. You feel like you're not doing the work and, you know, things do come up in that process. So, before I get started in this episode, I just want to all let you know, I hope you are enjoying these episodes. If you are, I would be so grateful if you could give me a five-star rating and share and tag me on Instagram and Facebook with any of the episodes that you loved and what was your biggest takeaway. So this episode is about what to do when in doubt. Now, I am so authentic, raw and real with all of you and this episode will be talking about what I have been going through the last two weeks. So it was autumn time for me in my cycle. For all any men listening, you know, that is the the, the cycle of a woman's uh, whole menstrual cycle. So autumn is the week before I am actually due on, which would then be my winter. Two weeks ago, I was coming into my autumn phase and I ended up having a huge migraine. And then the day after, I woke up and I was in such a low, depressive state. Now, for any of my really close friends who are listening, they would be like, wow, that does not sound like Pip at all. Because I'm always in a high vibe, I'm always positive, I'm always trying to strive. But actually, I'm always trying to do that. My whole body was saying to me, put the brakes on for a minute, Pip, because I literally felt like that. I had to get away, just have a break from work. You know, I was recording so much. I was working so much, creating so much stuff for you amazing people. And I think my spirit was on fire, but then my my physical body was exhausted. So from that point to now, I have just been taking a step back. And a lot of you will resonate with this. You know, we have to do that. But our ego creeps in and our ego starts to say, well, If you start to not show up, if you start to take a break, if you're not being on social media as much, you know, you're going to lose out. And it's like, no, 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 no. My higher self, on the other hand, who I listen to the most, is saying, you need this break because you need to recharge, you need to have a reset, you know, and you have to take time for yourself. Because in these two weeks, I've realized even more. You know, I've started to realize that there's more out there than just showing up on social media all the time. And I'm going to be real and say, you know, social media is an addiction. It really is an addiction. It's a digital addiction. And that, again, is still really important to to be, you know, to notice. How many times do you find yourself just sat on the couch scrolling through the news feed, scrolling through the Explorer page, and you just think, wow, I've just spent 10, 15 minutes scrolling through a lot of crap, really, which I think because at the minute, you know, there's that much stuff out there, which is just not good for our growth. And I, for, I just for knowledge, you know, a lot of it is a lot of negativity out there. So I decided to take a break. So I, I had seven days away from social media. I didn't post anything. I didn't put any stories on. I kept it very minimal. And yeah, my it, I was, it really tested me. It really did test me because, again, addiction, what happens in addiction, you start to crave it. And my phone was there and I was like, I just found myself going to it as a habit and I would stop myself and say, nope, 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 nope. So it is tough. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you know, the seven days away from social media was was great because addictions don't have to be drugs alcohol you know things like that addictions can be all sorts of things we have food addictions we have you know game addictions we have again social media addictions and they are they all play the same role so it's good to have the balance and that is the one thing that has happened in the last two weeks I have 
balanced myself out a lot more. So that moment when I woke up, I was in doubt. I was in that real low mood and I was questioning everything. I was questioning, am I doing the right thing? Am I where I'm supposed to be? You know, am I am I doing the right, am I on the right path? Should I change my course? And that seed that I planted in my head that day just grew and grew and grew and it went out of control. And that's where I had to take a break and say, right, this is, you know, I, li- I listened to my gut. I really listened to my intuition that day. And my day was saying, you need some time away from social media. And it did, you know, I fell into the trap of comparing myself, which I don't do a lot. You know, I, I tend to not do that. But because I was in that state, I am so thankful for that because I needed to drop into that emotion to then realize I need to get out of that emotion. So instead of pushing that emotion deep, deep, deep down and ignoring it, I actually recognized it and I realized, okay, this emotion is making me take a step back. And that is all about having the human experience here. You know, we are spiritual beings, yes, but the human experience is about feeling into all those emotions, feeling into those emotions that make us go, okay, why am I feeling this way? And what is my body trying to tell me? Because our human bodies will work in different ways in the form of an illness, in the form of an ailment, you know. In the last two weeks, my eczema has broke out in, you know, on my hands and on my elbows and things, and I've not had it for three, four years, and my body is speaking out to me. My body is saying, hang on, Pip, there's something trying to get out here, and, it, and since I've took that break, it has just gone down a lot, which is amazing how your body works. So if you're listening to this now and you're in doubt, I want you to just take a moment and remember why. What is your why? Why, why are you here? What are you supposed to be doing? And if you're in doubt, remember, what is the opposite to doubt? Faith. How much faith do you have in God, in the universe, in every part of your life? I want you to just take a moment now to think on a level of one to ten, how deep is your faith in the universe, in God? And if it isn't seven, eight, nine, ten, how can you have more faith? How can you have more trust in the universe? Again, nothing in this uh, on this whole planet is by accident. Everything is exactly as it should be. This whole COVID nightmare is exactly as it should be. It's fate. It was forecasted. You know, it was always going to be. This podcast that I'm doing is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I always repeat this because, you know, repetition is great because we start to take it in. So me recording this episode is at the exact right moment for you listening to it. I get inspiration to talk about a different topic each week. And this week was about, you know, if in doubt. But if you're in doubt and this doubt keeps creeping in and creeping in and creeping in, don't let it take over your life. Just think of it. Okay, where's this doubt coming from? Is this doubt coming from fear? Because a lot of the time when we're in fear of something, we start to doubt and then that's when we start to procrastinate and that's when we don't get our goals down and we don't end up you know, achieving what we want to. So I want you to really think of where this doubt's coming from. Is this just repetitive inner child stuff that's coming up? Is this repetitive emotions that keep coming up? You know, And just think of it and journal it down. Where's this doubt coming from? And how can I deepen my faith? Now, you all know a few weeks ago, I put a intention out to the universe it was around the new moon and I said I wanted to commit to something for a year. And I remember laughing with Chris, my partner, and I said, I, you know, I'd love to just go to India and do a year of silence. And we both laughed because that literally was, would be so impossible for me because I love talking so much. But, you know, I just thought of something so amazing that you could commit to. And the universe really worked its magic really quickly. And the day after, a beautiful soul messaged me and she's in my group And she said, Pip, I'm in this group and it's a commitment of a whole year of reading the Bible from cover to cover. And I was like, wow, you have just answered my prayer. I wanted to commit to something for a year and I want to deepen my faith. So deepening my faith in reading the Bible is incredible. Like I've been doing it now for that. I'm on like week five and it's just, it's insane because again, reading the Bible brought up a lot of emotions as well. 
my parents, you know, they, I actually really, I, I knew they would obviously go down this route and I was kind of prepared for these kind of questions. My dad, bless him, said, you know, have, have you turned religious? Have you gone to like, you know, into Catholic again? I said, well, I was born Catholic, but no, I'm not reading the Bible to, you know, say that I'm turning into a Catholic or a Christian. You know, I was, but I, yeah, I was baptized a Catholic, but my religion is spirituality. And I believe it's all the same thing. The God in the Bible to me is the universe. And, you know, a lot of the Bible is, it. you know, some of it I do believe and some of it I don't. You know, there's a lot to it and that is my own opinion. But reading the Bible and, you know, the stories, my favorite story is the Moses story. And, you know, a lot of the language, a lot of the quotes, a lot of the passages in the Bible so far, uh, it just resonate with me. Each week is a different kind of message, and there's a book that we we have on the side of the Bible, and it's called the uh, the Bible Study for Women. And each week, the chapters are sectioned down, and you read them each day. And there's a message for the whole week, and each week has been spot on, literally spot on for me. And that's kind of obviously how it's how it's all works and how it's meant to be. So that's why I'm absolutely loving it because. I have chosen to take that year to commit to reading the Bible. And it's not because I'm turning to Christian and I'm, you know, I'm going back to be, you know, baptized again. It's, it, people have those opinions and that's going to come up. When you start to decide to do something differently, people question it. But your response has to be because that's what I choose to do and not let your ego start to creep in and, you know, take over. And my response to my parents were, no, I'm just commit. I, I wanted to commit to something for a year and that's my commitment to read the Bible. And again, the stories in there are just incredible. They really are. And if anyone's listened to this and they're kind of, you know, tempted, I really urge you to, because there are some amazing stories and amazing messages within the Bible that I really resonate with. So if in doubt, if in doubt, if you're doubting now, if you're doubting why you're here, if you're doubting your purpose, your path, you're doubting anything, you're doubting your relationship, you're doubting your judgment, you're doubting your choices. Take a step back. Just take a step back and just let yourself be. Let the universe hold you. Just let yourself fall. The universe will grab you and just let your path magically unfold. It's easier said than done. You know, people come to me all the time and say, but how do I do my faith and how do I, I trust? And all it is, is just, just being it's just having that being and being trusting in the universe. There's no more to it. And it's just a daily practice that we have to do, you know, and that's why having the daily spiritual practice is so important because it does deepen your faith and it helps you to get closer to the universe and to God. That's why meditation is so important. That gets us closer to that high self you know, it's that source of energy. And that's what I want you to really get to. So just remember why you started. Why did you start? Why did you get on this path? And if you're at that point where you have no clue where you're going, ask, ask for a sign, ask for a message. And the universe always delivers, always, always, always delivers. And that again is having the faith and trusting in the universe, in the God, into God. So I just want to kind of bring that up today because I've had that time off, you know, I've really, and it's, don't feel guilty as well. Like a lot of time guilt can come up for people, you know, they want to take time out and they feel bad. They feel like they're going to lose people. And again, I am a recovering people pleaser. So a lot of my emotions come up that I'm not showing up. So I'm, you know, not helping people as much as I can, but actually me taking time out to refill my cup is more beneficial to my followers and to my clients because I can then, you know, come from a place where I'm full and I have, you know, filled my cup and I can give the overflow to everyone else. So it really is important to really listen to your body and trust your gut. Your gut never, ever lies. And it always, always leads you to the path that you need to be on. So I hope you've all had a beautiful weekend. We have been enjoying the sun in the UK. And again, please, I would be so grateful if you'd give me a five star rating, tag me on social media, uh, your biggest takeaway from this episode. And I hope you, you all have a beautiful day wherever you are. I will chat to you all soon. And bye for now.